Well, I finally got Rain Lake all to myself. It's a pretty narrow lake, which is nice. I don't have to worry about rough water, which I was hoping for. Kind of uh, geared this trip towards that, so I don't have to worry about uh, being windbound on a short trip. So I should be coming up to the portage soon. First one's about 1,500 meters. And there's a little pond, and then there's another 1,300 meter portage. And uh, that'll take me to Daisy Lake. And that's where I'm staying tonight. The double paddle seems to be working pretty well. I've raised the uh, seat and it gets me up a little higher so I can uh, reach over, have the paddle in the water without banging up against the, uh, the rails. So it's actually pretty comfortable. A lot more comfortable than uh, if I was just doing a traditional canoe paddle, which I brought. Well, I've always wanted to do this. It's uh, my first solo canoe trip. Actually, first solo camping trip, really. It's been years in the making and I finally got a chance to do it this summer. It's a good, it's a pretty weird experience not having anybody uh, here to talk to. I have a very talkative family. Talking to friends too. All right, well, that was my first portage of the trip. It was uh, just about 1,300 meters. It was from Rain Lake to uh, Casey Lake. So I did that in one carry, which I'm happy about. My pack when I left was uh, with water was uh, just under 47 pounds. The canoe I weighed, it just comes in about 60 pounds. So uh, 100 and 105, 107 pound load. That's kind of a good baseline for what I can do in the future. It's about six, uh, six o'clock, I'm on Daisy Lake, and this is gonna be the campsite for the night. My first campsite uh, ever by myself. Kinda weird. Well, Bill, you did it again. I'm having my uh, buddy Bill's Asian noodles that he makes. If you're using dehydrated meals, you gotta get the recipe for this. It really is that good.
So today I'm going to be traveling about 20 kilometers, carrying 100 pounds of gear. For me, that's, that's quite a bit. I have to do about nine portages, and the longest one is a, just over a kilometer. Most of them are about 400, 500 meters. Infinite's a supplement that I use when I'm mountain biking. Um, it's made in Windsor, Ontario. It's a great product. This is a custom blend made for me. You can go to the website and you can customize what nutritional uh, balances you'd like in your drink. Sometimes uh, you get tired and you don't realize it sneaks up on you. And, uh, I don't want to bonk out here by myself. So I do have lots of snacks packed. I got lots of food, but sometimes when you're trying to make some distance, you sometimes forget to eat. Left Daisy Lake. I did the short portage and now I'm on to the Catawawa River. I really haven't seen anybody since this morning, just when I left the campsite, so it has been a really peaceful day. Well, I'm at the portage from Little Misty to Big Misty. And it's a, it's a 935 meter portage. It says this portage can be extremely muddy on Jeff's maps. And they've all been extremely muddy, so I can only imagine what this looks like. Gonna happen. A bit of a wipeout here. So luckily, I just landed on my butt and slid under some mud. But these portages have been very muddy. It's been a challenge. I'm just glad I didn't hurt myself. This is uh, I'm extremely careful when I'm walking, especially by myself. But I guess it's inevitable. I'm gonna have a bit of a crash. Canoe's fine. I'm fine. But it's very challenging portages. Hey Griff, I didn't forget about your lucky charm.
Well, last double carry of the trip, hopefully. Going from Misty Lake to Muslim Lake. I've just made it to Winona Lake. Still a beautiful day. Starting to, starting to get a little tired, but it's still going strong. No free lunches today. So I'm going light, I didn't even have any oatmeal this morning. I'm gonna have uh, an infinite iced coffee. It's got uh, 21 grams of protein in it. And uh, I've had that in a bar. And uh, that'll tide me over. So I've had this before, it's a new product from Infinite, but it's fantastic. Four hundred mils of water. And that's it. This is Sawyer Lake, by far the, uh, the nicest portage landing I've left from. It could all be like this, and of course I'll be paddling into the wind. Well, it's official, Sawyer Lake has the best portages. Back to back, sandy beach portages. So here it's a rain lake. It's my last portage of the trip. On portages I always lean my paddle up against a tree so when I have a canoe in my head when I walk by it's easy to grab and I use the uh, paddle to help stabilize the front of the canoe. This is my last portage of the day and this is how Algonquin Park gets you to come back. It's the easiest one by far that I've had to walk on. Flat, dry, not too many rocks. It's kind of funny actually. Well, back at Rain Lake, it's about 2.30, well, it's about 48 hours since I left here. I did about uh, 40 kilometers. It was a good trip. Got to see a moose. I ran into Larry Hyatt on Rain Lake. He was just going out and I was going in. I recognized the canoe and by me. I enjoyed his videos and uh, it, was nice to, uh, it was nice to run into him on the lake. So, uh, Larry, keep up the good videos. And uh, another one in the books. Thanks for watching.